For children with diabetes or pre-diabetes, eating the right foods is critical. But for families facing food insecurity, putting healthy options on the table, it can be a challenge. Nearly two years ago, the Capital Area Food Bank and Children's National Hospital started the Food Pharmacy Program. It will now be expanded thanks to a generous donation. Our Megan McGrath has that story. Vegetables and lean proteins. They promote good health and help fight chronic diseases like diabetes. Nearly two years ago, Children's National Hospital teamed up with the Capital Area Food Bank, creating the Food Pharmacy Program. The goal, to provide nutritious food to area families in need and reverse or even prevent the onset of diabetes in children. Oftentimes these conditions, we talk about them in adults and we forget all about kids. Kids are the future adults. We have to start early. That is the way we create healthy habits that can affect the outcomes for children in the long run. When it started, the program provided 30 pounds of food to 120 families each month. But thanks to a $450,000 donation from the Amerigroup Foundation, the food pharmacy program is being expanded. 155 families will receive 40 to 50 pounds of food each month. And we will purchase all of the right good nutritious food that a young child who is either suffering from diabetes or potentially has a family history of diabetes should eat. Think of it like this, food as medicine. Children who are being treated for diabetes and pre-diabetes are screened for food insecurity. If they have trouble getting access to the right foods, they're written a prescription for medically tailored groceries. Families then pick up food boxes at the program's pharmacy. So by offering fresh foods in areas where they typically aren't available, we should see lower admittance to ERs and to the hospital. The rate of childhood diabetes and prediabetes has been rising in recent years. The hope is that by adopting better eating habits, the kids in the program will avoid chronic illnesses and live healthier lives. Megan McGrath, News 4.